Namaskar, and welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali. And I'm Jake Jan. And today we're going to be reacting to my first Kolakata Durga Puja. Yes, mm. so we just did a little cartoon video that kind of gave us the mm. background yes. on the goddess Duga and how this festival kind of came mm -hmm. about. So yeah. now we get to actually see... Um, some of the music and part of the festival with this one. So we're really excited. Yes. This is mm -hmm. nice. This is something I've been wanting to do for a really long time with the kids is learn about some of the different festivals in India and mm -hmm. either celebrate some of them here or at least experience them, you know, through YouTube is such amazing um, yeah. way to experience some of these things that we can't actually physically go to. But one of these days... Mm -hmm. We will come to India, we promise. And hopefully we'll try to come when there is some festival that we can be a part of and join in on because it would be yes. amazing. So, all right, let's start it up. Mm -hmm. I am from North India. I was born in UP, brought up in UP, and then I went to college in U. Well, not in UP. It was a city in Eastern India, and by the time my first semester was half done, the college was shut down for 10 days of vacation. It was strange because Diwali had not arrived yet and Holi of course was too far away. Back in the north when we were all fasting on Navratri and burning Ravan effigy on the Shera, the people in the east were celebrating something else. And that is when I came to know about Durga Puja. In this world, I saw thousands of people hopping the pandals through the night. Something I would have never imagined otherwise. The lights of these pandals take creativity beyond the puja, beyond the myths. I listened to the music playing all over the city which took me into the world of stories.
एंड नाउ आई कैन से दैट इफ वन वॉन्ट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड इंडिया वन टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम कोलकाता बिकॉज वेयर एल्स वुड वी गेट टू सी एन इंडिया वी हैव ओनली रेड अबाउट इन द बुक्स I mean the decorations that they did I mean it's just they're beautiful. beautiful and they're all like all handmade like they pick the flowers they put it in the and thing, I they make bet the, the light. like sculpture is handmade yeah mm-hmm. sculptures are handmade yeah. everything's handmade which is amazing yeah mm-hmm. it really is so detailed too not yeah. just not just little like bit, little bit it's like so detailed flowers and yeah. all that yeah everything. like i saw on one of those like little statues of her you can see her like waving mm-hmm. hair Mhm. Yeah, it's such amazing. Mm-hmm. And they definitely put a lot of work into it, but it was beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Beautiful. Um I'm glad it lasts 9 days. I mean, you'd need a lot of time to go yeah. see all the the things that they put yeah. out for mm-hmm. it. But we want to know the significance of putting her in the water at the end. Yeah, like is that if she's like... a good goddess and this was a good deed, mm-hmm. is the water to carry mm-hmm. on. Yeah, to carry her spirit down mm-hmm. or is it Is there Something some significance else. to that? Tell that us down in the comments below. Yeah, about. tell us mm-hmm. in the comments below. Let us know why she goes in the water at the end of the yes. festival. Um, mm-hmm. But this looks amazing. Yes. So pretty. And, um, this, this makes me even more want to go to India. Mm-hmm. I know. So many lovely <laughs> festivals. What was your favorite part, Jaden, of this? My favorite part is like the big temple golden temple that was in oh. oh the big and it looked like i couldn't tell what animal but they were going it was like a it was huge yeah it mm-hmm. was beautiful yeah which part did you like on gina best i just loved how everything's like handmade and everything's so beautiful so like i don't know how many days it takes them to like prepare for this but i bet yeah. it takes them so long because you can see so many decorations and it's so beautiful yeah almost museum like some of those yeah. like when you walk in and the lights above you and underneath you mm-hmm. and everywhere and then the goddess is yeah. at the end mm-hmm. the entrance way or whatever i mean just yeah like that would be something you would see in a museum mm-hmm. like just mm-hmm. beautiful beautiful um yeah so Thank you guys for sharing these with us. This just makes us want to go to India even more, yes. but at least we can share the celebrations with you a little bit here and yes. and watch about it and learn more. So, mm-hmm. it's been great, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. And if you like this video, don't forget to click that like button down below cuz the more you like, it, the more YouTube shares our videos. And don't forget to subscribe. And join our wonderful family and we'll see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye. Bye.